Hello, I am starting this vlog in the evening, which is very unusual, but I am going to the Halloween maze LV <laughs> tonight. So my trainer, uh, his side hustle, I guess you could say, is this Halloween maze. He just really loves all things Halloween and scary. We talk about horror movies quite a bit when I'm training with him. And tonight is the grand opening, so there's like a a friends and family, you know, situation going on. So uh, I am going with my husband to support and my friend that referred me to Nathan, she is actually, Nathan's my trainer. She actually is working uh, for him now for this Halloween maze. So anyway, she's gonna be there, which will be really fun. So I've whipped out my orange Frankie Shop <laughs> organic poplin shirt for the occasion and nothing too much to report down here, just my Everlane crop pants and my Loewe Flow Runner sneakers. I just, I, I wanted to have sneakers on. But I thought tonight would be perfect for the Yayoi Kusama LV bag because of the pumpkin. Well, also because it's black and white and it goes with the outfit. So that's what's in store for this evening. Let's head on out. I just went through this Halloween maze and I thought it was really, really great. And I tried to film as much of it as possible, but it is very, very dark. So that's the first thing I want to mention. The second thing is there is quite a bit of strobe lighting. So if that bothers you at all, I'm trying to think of the warnings that I've seen. It's like if you suffer from seizures or whatever, you probably don't just skip this whole part. Um, and it's there's some really scary, <laughs> some scary parts. So if you're not into scary, yeah, you don't want to, you don't want to watch this Halloween maze part, but I thought it was fun. Um, and I'm a big fan of like, you know, horror movies and stuff, as you guys know. It's really fun. I mean, we were, my husband and I walked through with two young girls and the girls were maybe, I don't know, I want to say like seven and 10. And they, they were scared, but they had a great time. And by the time they came out, like we were all just like laughing, <laughs> like still like nervously laughing. So it was great. But anyway, so let's continue on. But this part of the video is the Halloween maze part. So just, you know, fast forward if you need to. Mike. We're gonna go over some rules really quick before you get going. Rule number one, you don't touch my things. Rule number two, you don't touch my friends. And most importantly, I can't run. So you guys can't run, okay? Don't Questions, you. comments, concerns? <laughs>
Good morning. Well, I don't know what it is about that Halloween maze, but my husband and I both slept like babies last night. <laughs> Maybe it was that we got all of the like excess energy out of us just going through that maze. <laughs> but yeah, we both just, he was like, wow. He's like, I don't think I've slept that well in a really long time. I don't know what it is. I'm like, maybe it was the Halloween maze. <laughs> anyway, it was um, a lot of fun. But what have I got to do today? Well, I still have to work out. This is what happens when I don't have to meet my trainer at a specific time. I just sit down, I start working, and that's what I did. I just sat down and started working at about six o'clock, and it is now 9.30. I mean, I'm dressed to go. I get up and I just put my workout clothing on so I don't have to, you know, no excuses, right? I just go, I can just go. I don't have to like go upstairs and change or whatever. <clears throat> but here I am. So I think um, I may actually work out at home today because I do have a lot of work that I need to do. I have to finish a blog post. I have to post um, or schedule the newsletter. I have two sponsorships I have to do, which is very exciting. Very, very exciting. I have to meet my mom for lunch. And I was actually just checking. I kind of for, not really forgot. That's no, I kind of forgot. I think because my, uh, my two friends were here and, you know, birthday, birthday, birthday and all this stuff. I just kind of forgot about my new car and how it was supposed to arrive, I think, this past week. So I was just checking on it and it seems to have docked or landed in the U.S. And I guess they just have to put it on the truck and truck it on over. I think that's it. Oh yeah, it says, the ship has reached the port of destination. After unloading, an extensive quality check is performed on your vehicle. Import customs clearance is successfully completed and the vehicle is prepared for the final stage of transport to the Porsche dealer. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, but here's a picture. I think this is a stock picture. I don't think this is a picture of my car, but there it is. It has like a little cover and everything. So yeah. Anyway, a quick update on that, but I was just checking on that. I was like, oh my gosh. And then I got a jury summons. <laughs> I think I told you guys this. When I got back from New York, I got a jury summons and I was like hemming and hawing about whether or not I should, you know, postpone it or whatever. Cause I'm like, if I'm available, I should just, I should just go. I should just do it. All right. But I have a couple of days before the excusal date comes. So I was like, oh, let me look at this again. And it's actually the reporting date is a day that I'm going to be at Vid Summit next week. So I can't, I can't make it. I physically can't make it. So I just email them to get excused. I attached to like my plane ticket <laughs> receipt. I was like, I'm not going to be here. So yeah. And then when I get back from Vid Summit, my friend Jen is going to be here. So I'm like, I have to start thinking about that. Never a dull moment which is nice. I cannot, you guys, I cannot believe that it's October. I really can't believe it. And I'm already like, I have things like booked through almost the end of October. So I'm like thinking about November. I'm like, whoa, whoa. This is when things get really real in terms of holidays, mishmas, all that kind of stuff. So speaking of mishmas, I am keeping an eye out on these advent calendars. Um, as you guys know, I love uh, opening up these advent calendars and everything uh, during Mishmas. And sometimes they're hard to get. They launch and then they sell out very quickly, especially the two that I love getting every year, which is Diptyque and Joe Malone. So I'm kind of keeping an eye on them. I feel like they came out last year around this time, like end of September. Actually, I'm gonna go on to Joe Malone. I just went on to Diptyque and it's ready for pre-order um, in Europe, which I actually posted on my community tab. So if anyone is in Europe, it is available for pre-order, but not in the US. So I don't know what's going on. Oh, Sophia Richie Grange's favorite fragrance. God, she's everywhere. <laughs> I feel like I can't turn around without seeing her. Um, and I know, I know nothing, I know nothing about her. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna just do a search for advent calendar and see what comes up. Actually, let me just do a general Google search for Joe Malone advent calendar. Yeah, it's available in the UK. All right, well, I'm gonna post this to my community tab. So when you guys see this, you'll see a link on my community tab to this 
uh, Joe Malone, but in the UK. I guess they're just waiting to release it here in the States. Well, that's it. I guess I, I need to just get back to my blog post, the newsletter, and then at that point, I'll probably have to meet my mom for lunch and then maybe I can work out after. Yeah. All right, guys, I'll be back in a bit. Good morning, everyone. I don't know if you see this, but I'm wearing a sweatshirt. Do you know what that means? That means I woke up this morning and it was in the 60s here in Vegas. I'm so excited and I don't think it's gonna get over 80 today. I think it's just gonna be in the 70s. I am ecstatic. I woke up and I went through, as you know, all of my sweatshirts, which are quite a few. I'm embarrassed to say I have a lot of sweatshirts, but anyway, this one won out. The one that I just got at the Prada outlet in Woodbury Commons. This is probably the loudest, most obnoxious piece of clothing. I was gonna say sweatshirt, but piece of clothing that I have in my, <laughs> in my wardrobe. I love this vintage Prada textile that they brought back. Anyway, I am feeding butters. And this reminds me of a little debacle that I had last night. So we took butters to school yesterday. And that basically means we don't have to feed her at home. She has a whole stock of her food um, at school. So for some reason I was like, okay, well let me like get myself together for tomorrow. And I couldn't find any food for her. So we usually keep food for her in this drawer right here by the refrigerator. Um, and then we keep like backup boxes of it in the laundry room, which is basically her room. I thought we had a backup box, we did not. And the food that we get her is just food for dogs, balanced remedy, which you're supposed to need a um, prescription for, which is kind of silly. It's not like this is, um, like there's no medicine or anything in this dog food. It's just very specific, it has super low fat. Anyway, long story short, we had to go to, well, we had to pick her up from school and then we had to go uh, to Petco and pick some of this up. And I was like, I really hope they don't ask for a prescription because I know my vet isn't in the office anymore, you know, was going through all of this. And they didn't, thank goodness. So we were able to get more food for her. <gasps> I'm sorry, Butters, worst parents ever. Worst doggy parents ever. So I have to, sorry, I have to move this, mic. it's a, it's tough to find a, the right place for a mic on a sweatshirt because it's so far up your neck. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you guys can hear me. So I'm gonna feed, ooh, I'm gonna feed butters right now. And then I have to show you what I ended up getting. So we walked in and of course, Halloween display is up for the dogs. There's costumes, there's toys, Halloween theme. They even had some uh, fall themed stuff. And of course, I like beelined it straight to the costumes. I'm looking through them and I'm asking my husband, I'm like, what do you think of this one? What do you think of this one or whatever? And he was like, I thought we were just getting food. I didn't realize we were Halloween costume shopping. And I was like, well, it's here. I'm like, and I always feel like I wait until the last minute and then none of the good costumes are left. So anyway, we ended up picking out a costume. My husband did not agree with me. He did not think that this was very her. And I was like, this is totally, butters. I'm going to show you the costume that I picked out for her. You'll have to let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think. My husband was like, no, it's more you than it is her. But anyway, my husband and I, like, we never, we never fight. We just, neither of us get like that worked up. And <laughs> we're standing at Petco, like literally having a raised voice discussion about what costume we think was the most her. It was ridiculous. Anyway, I ended up winning. So we picked up the Snoop Dogg hoodie, which has, of course, the gold chain. It has Snoop Dogg on the hood. And then there's some Velcro straps here for easy on off. I thought, oh, and then there's like a little tag down here too. I thought this was very her. <laughs> now, my husband was going for more of the cuter stuff. He was like, what about the little piggy? Or like the cow? Or I was like, no. I'm like, that's not Butters. That's absolutely not Butters. It's too cutesy. She's not a cutesy, I mean, she's adorable and the cutest dog in the entire world, but she's not a cutesy dog. I thought this was much more appropriate. And then they had one which we thought would be a good backup. And maybe I'll go back and get this one for Halloween week if we wanna dress her up in several different costumes. But it's like a, 
like a convict one. So it's like black and white stripes. And there's a sign on the back that's, that says like, I don't know, bad, bad canine or bad doggy, something, something like that. Um, but I was like, she's not a bad doggy. So I put that one back because I didn't want her. I don't want her to think that she's a bad girl because she's not. She's a very good girl. <laughs> so that's what I did last night. We spent way too much time at Petco. Deci yes, deciding which costume. Now, I also think this may be too big for her because this is a small. They had an extra small, which was for like teeny tiny dogs. So it went like way down. I don't know, we'll have to see. We'll have to try it on. Are you excited to be Snoop Dogg for Halloween? Is that the look of excitement? Yeah, you're so much more of a Snoop Dogg than like a cute little piggy or something. I don't know what your dad was thinking. So I got a bunch of packages in and, and I apologize, my microphone ran out of juice. I forgot to charge it. Anyway, so we're just using the on camera mic. So we're going back, old school. Okay. I purchased a bunch of stuff from Nordstrom. I wanted to do like a whole big um, like luxury makeup haul and try on, but Nordstrom, <laughs> Nordstrom done me dirty because it, it was just like one order, yet it's coming in like four separate boxes and one box is coming like next week or something. So I'm gonna see here what ended up arriving and maybe we can still do it and leave that other product for another day. So I got, the Louboutin um, eyeshadow duo. And I'm, I mean, I'm a fan of Louboutin makeup. Most of it has been, yeah, most of it has worked out really well for me. So here is the eyeshadow duo that I got. Isn't that pretty? This is, <laughs> these names are very interesting. This is Hot Nudes Chick. And this is the Abracadabra Le Duo. Um, and it's got the Louboutin packaging with the spikes, the studs, and that's that. So I wanted to include that in the video. Oh, oh no. I thought maybe it came with like a little velvet pouch, but it doesn't. That's just inside the box. So that's one thing I ordered. Here's another box. Ah, is one of the MS. Limited edition lipsticks, I believe for fall. And I just kept scrolling by this until I realized that this is a shiny lipstick. So it's kind of sheer, I believe, because it looks very, very dark in the pictures and the bullet. So let's, let's take a look. The packaging too is, oh, it's gorgeous. Look at that. It kind of matches. My sweatshirt. So this is what it looks like in the bullet. And so, you know, I love a dark lip, but I was like, I have enough. I don't wear them that often, but I think this is, yeah, it's kind of sheer. It's like a balm. Isn't that pretty? And it is quite shiny. I don't know if my light's catching it. Probably not. Um, but I'm excited I got this because like I said, I thought it was like a really, really dark shade. So I really like that this is sheer so that's another thing that i got from nordstrom and then third box which is more than one thing in here i got oh the new uh, lancome tenty doll ultra wear care and glow serum concealer i love the care and glow foundation so i thought let me try this concealer and then i also got oh the louboutin i forgot all about this the Louboutin, um, like, I think it's a cream foundation in a compact. Let's, let's take a look here. So in Louboutin fashion, very, very flashy packaging. This reminds me of their powder, which is really lovely. Peel. Okay. So it has this protective seal over it. And yes, it is a cream foundation. Ooh. Ooh, very creamy. There's the color that I got, which is 10N Ivory Nude. So this is the Le Bomme de Ten. I don't know if you can see it. The packaging is so reflective. I'm not sure you can see it. Ooh, this feels nice. It's balmy, but it, it feels like, 
like a little powdery at the same time. It's nice. Yeah, I think that shade is gonna work for me. So excited to try that out. So let's see, we have concealer, foundation. I'm trying to think what didn't ship. Oh, I think I got one of the new Dior limited edition blushes. I think that is what is not in here. Yeah, so, okay, so I've got foundation, concealer, eyeshadow, lipstick, and then I got this from Clay de Poe. This is part of their limited edition, I think it's their holiday collection. That's why the box looks different, but the artwork that they have on their limited edition collections is always so, so beautiful. Very hard for me to resist. So this is the Luminizing Face Enhancer. You guys know how much I love, 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 love the Clay de Poe Luminizing Face Enhancers. So this is incredible. Wow. Look at that. And it does come with this sleeve, which is also special back there. Yeah, this shade is different from what they have in their regular line. This shade is 106 Dawn of Destiny. That is really pretty. I'm going to save this for when I try it on because there is a lot of glittery overspray, which I'm going to get rid of before I actually, you know, do a try on for you guys because I don't want that glitter. I don't want that glitter. So that is what I got from Nordstrom. And I think I can do, it's pretty much a full face, right? I'm just kind of missing, I'm missing blush, really, which is kind of sad. So that is what I picked up from Nordstrom. I also, very handy, because I need to remove this, I got some Alme biodegradable longwear makeup remover wipes. And I am a fan of these wipes, mainly because they're biodegradable, I think that's great. So even if they do end up in the trash, they're not gonna end up around for too long, um, but they are very good too, um, at least for removing swatches and very moist. Okay, and then I got a bunch of PR. Let's take a look. Ooh, this is from Summer Fridays. You can see Summer <laughs> right there. Ah, Lip Butter Balm. We won a 2023 Allure Best of Beauty Award for Best Lip Balm, and it's all because of your love for lip butter balm. Wow, I can't read today. Lip butter balm. So now there is a new sheer shade and a sweet mint flavor. Ooh, here it is. Here's the box. And here's what a pretty green color. I love that. It actually kind of smells like um, the Girl Scout Thin Mints cookies. I'm trying this on because I'm trying to determine if the mint, oh no, there's a little mintiness. Yeah, there's a little mintiness to the balm. Not my favorite, as you guys know. I don't like a mint to my lip things, but it's very, very faint. It's more in the, uh, in the scent of it. Yeah, it smells just like Thin Mints. Oh my gosh. Wow, thank you very much, Summer Fridays. Next, I got something from, do not know, let's see. Ah, from Peach and Lily. Plump Smooth Firm Copper Peptide Pro Firming Serum. Oh, wow. Here is the bottle. I love that blue color. It looks so soothing. Copper Peptide Pro Firming Serum. So it's a peptide complex and amino acids. Naturally blue hue from rich copper peptides. Oh, wow. Thank you very much, Peach and Lily. And this, ooh, this is from Benefit Cosmetics. I just started getting PR from them, which is great. I got that cookie highlighter. Holy smokes, that is such an intense highlighter. And I know I'm super late to the game, um, but I had never tried it before. And now they sent over, ooh, Roller Lash, which I think I've tried before and I really like. Yeah, it's like my kind of mascara wand. So Roller Lash, they also sent over Fan Fest. Awesome. And then let's see, Fluff Up Brow Wax. 24 hour brow setter. Ooh, and you know what's interesting? I tried one Benefit brow product. I cannot even tell you which one it was. It must have been one of their brow gels of some sort. You guys know how much I love brow gel. And I did not like it. It smelled uh, funky. <laughs> it just smelled funky. And in terms of the actual gel, I can't even remember, but that's how strongly it smelled. 
And then very soon thereafter, they reformulated it. And I remember it was kind of new. So I was like, okay, maybe it wasn't just me, but I never tried it again. So anyway, I'm glad to have a second chance with some of their products. So big thank you to Benefit. And then let's see, I don't know who this is from. Let's just open it up. Ah, something from, oh, get this up. Grown Alchemist. I love their products. Oh, is this a bag? Look at this. It's like a silver bag. That's really cool. And then something exploded in here. <laughs> oh no. So um, I think I just need to wipe, oh gosh, I just have to wipe this stuff down. So this is the Gentle Gel Facial, face, wow, today's gonna be a hard day. Gentle Gel Facial Cleanser. I've used up a whole bottle of this. So I like it very much. The Instant Smoothing Serum. The Skin Renewal Serum. Let's see, this is the Anti-Pollution Primer. And, oh, I think I see what exploded. The Day Cream here. I think this, because this is a metal tube, I think this exploded. The Day Cream. And then, oh, lip balm. All right, I'm gonna have to clean this stuff off, but a big thank you to Grown Alchemist for all of this. I love, love, love your stuff. Ooh, something from Jones Road. Introducing, ooh, Miracle Bomb and Happy Hour. Whoa, and Happy Hour. And let's see, Jones Road Beauty, like solo cups, very handy. Happy Hour Miracle Bomb. Now I've never, been able to get Miracle Bomb to work for me. I know I'm in the minority. I know. I know. I don't I don't know what the deal is. I have so many friends that are like, it has been life-changing. It is the only makeup I wear. I have every single shade. Like, love it. And I, yeah, I think I just, I don't know. I need to try again. Anyway, here is, ooh, the happy hour shade. That's pretty. Ooh, I like that. Okay. Well, maybe this is this is the time. Maybe this is the time that I try it again. Thank you very, very much, Jones Road. And then, one last box. I don't know who it's from. It is, ooh, from Westman Atelier. Oh, gosh, I saw this. I'm so excited for this. It's a Skin Activator Rollerball Serum. I really, really love their serum, so this is very exciting to have it in rollerball form and it is refillable. Ooh, that's so great. Let's see, so here is the packaging. This is all paper. Here's the key to pop out the empty glass vial. This is the refill. So here is the rollerball. It says to remove the magnetic ball and wipe down after each use. Oh, cool, okay. Oh, I think it comes with a refill. I didn't realize there was one in here already. Oh, that's nice. Oh, cool, okay. Let me see if I can figure this out. Roll, okay, keyhole. Oh, that's how to refill, okay. How to use, click to dispense serum, tilt device downward to allow product to flow onto skin. Ah, and you can see some of the serum kind of come out the side there. Ooh, so the roller ball doesn't actually roll for me. I mean, it can roll. I wonder if I just have to get it all lubed up or something, but you'd have to apply, at least for me, you'd have to apply too much pressure to actually get it to roll. And once it gets slippy from the serum, it doesn't actually roll. So for me, it doesn't roll. It's just kind of a nice golden cooling ball applicator, which is lovely. I could sit here all day doing this. Ooh, this is so nice. Awesome, and then remove magnetic ball and wipe down after each use. So you can just pull it out and then I'm gonna wipe it down with my makeup remover here. Very nice, and this cap is click on, which is different for Westman Atelier. Usually it's magnetic, but I think because this is a magnetic ball, there's probably just too much going on in terms of magnets. <laughs> So this is like a click closed. Oh, this is amazing. And I love that it comes with a refill. Thank you so, so much, Westman Atelier. So that is all I've gotten in PR and what I've ordered, personally ordered myself lately. Good morning. I am in the best mood today. Why? Because it's like 75 degrees outside. 
<laughs> I love it. I love it so much. I was just outside throwing the bali for butters and I was just out there in like, you know, t-shirt and stretchy pants and I needed, I needed a sweatshirt. I couldn't believe it. Anyway, it's not going to last. I think today is the last day of coolness because yesterday it was kind of cool too. It's supposed to start warming up again. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy it while it's here. I'm just ecstatic. Um, but I am talking to you right now in the bathroom post shower because I just ran out of a bunch of stuff at the same time, which never happens to me ever. But I ran out of four things and I thought I would do a quick empties because um, the last time I, well, I've done an empties, I want to say, was it earlier this summer? And then I started collecting stuff and then um, the company that comes to clean my home, they actually got rid of the bag where I was like collecting stuff again. Um, that's not the first time it's happened. Maybe I need to like tuck them away in a better place. But anyway, um, I thought I would do this now. So the Clay de Poe UV Protective Cream SPF 50. You guys have heard me rave about this many, many times. I love this. This is a very dead bottle. I was like literally just like like foot on it, the, my heel, like pulling up at it. Yeah, there's nothing left in here. And I love it so much that I have a backup already. So love it, could not recommend this more. Uh, and then the Clay de Poe Serum Concentrate. This was lovely, really, really lovely. I have a bunch of other serums that I wanna get through, but I think I'm gonna go back to this one. It has a great serum texture, um, like it's on the thinner side. It's not runny, it's just on the thinner side. And it, how can I describe it? It really just makes my skin look very, very youthful. And I feel like it really helps the cream that I put on top or the oil that I put on top. I feel like it really helps those products work a little bit better, like absorb a little bit better. But this is really wonderful. I feel like my pore size has minimized since I started using this. Um, you know, fine lines, like the whole thing. So I do love this the Serum Concentrate from Clay de Poe. And then my Molten Brown Fiery Pink Pepper um, Bath Gel. I love this. I like went crazy that one day at Neiman Marcus. I had run out of bath gel and I was like, what is going on? And I went and I bought like a, like a three, like a gift set. This was one. I have like the Ginger Lily one in my shower now. I think this is my favorite. I always love like citrusy ones, but this Fiery Pink Pepper, it has just a hint, just a hint of that like Coca-Cola smell that I love. I think it's the pepper. It's just a little bit, it's like kind of like a slightly sweet, spicy smell. Oh my God, I love it. And the Molten Brown bath gels, I just love because it doesn't leave my skin feeling dry, but my skin also feels very clean. It's just great. It's just a great bath gel. So that I just used up. And then the Suzanne Kaufman Ginger Body Oil. I, oh, I have like a little bit left. I should probably use that up. This is a great body oil. I like putting this on when my skin is still wet. So like before I get out of the shower and I'll just like rub it in and then I'll towel dry myself and it just leaves my skin feeling amazing. I mean, all oils do that when you put it on when you still have some uh, water on your skin. I really like the scent of this, but it does remind me of a fresh body oil. And I don't remember the name of it. It was just so, like the entire time I was using this, I was like, oh my God, what does it remind me of? What does it remind me of? And I just realized maybe over the last week or so that it reminds me of a fresh body oil. Anyway, maybe I should get that one again. Cause I don't have, I don't have any body oils I think I have some in my cabinet, but I don't have any in the bath right now. Anyway, this was the lovely, I, you guys know how much I love Suzanne Kaufman. Her products are pristine. They're just amazing. So that's it. Those are my four little empties and now I can toss out those bottles. Um, but all of those things, well, one I've already repurchased. I would repurchase, I would most definitely repurchase the Molten Brown. I would most definitely repurchase the Clay de Post Serum. The Suzanne Kaufman um, body oil, I mean, I liked it enough. Would I repurchase it? I may, I may. I think there's so many out there that I think I'd wanna try different ones. But yeah, yeah, I would, I would repurchase this. So what is on the agenda today? Well, I am leaving town tomorrow. I'm going to Dallas for Vid Summit, which is like <laughs> YouTube con basically. Um, that's for 
uh, like two and a half days. So um, I don't think I'm going to be creating that much content then. So I wanted to film something today. However, I have an appointment at Prada today at 4 p.m. They've uh, gotten some new things in and you know me, I like to check out the newness on the strip. So it's actually time for me to eat lunch. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna try and film, and then I'm gonna take you along to Prado with me. I'm so excited, I can't wait to see what they have in store. I just finished filming for the Chanel Holiday Collection. Maybe you will have seen it. Anyway, if it's up already, I'll link it down below in my description box. This highlight is like super intense. Do you see that? It's actually more intense in this natural lighting than it is in my studio lighting, which is sometimes not the case. And the five pan eyeshadow palette, which is gorgeous, gorgeous. And then I have the golden beige Rouge Allure Lock on my lips. Really pretty collection. I love it. Is it, you know, earth shattering and completely different? Not really, like the eyeshadow palette is pretty neutral, but I love it. It's, it's a palette I'll use, you know? But I just came upstairs to get ready to go to Prada and I got a box delivered to me. I am very, very excited. I just placed, it feels like I just placed this order. Um, so I'm glad it arrived. Placed an order on Victoria Beckham. You can probably guess what it is now. And I hope I picked the right one. I don't know. I don't know if there's a right or a wrong, but I got one of her new fragrances. I picked Sweet 302. She had one that was probably a little bit closer to what I typically like. Can't remember the name of it, but it reminded me of the Tom Ford uh, Neroli Portofino, mainly because I think it was in the turquoise bottle. So she has like, I don't know, just a limited edition amount of these perfumes, or maybe there's only a few that are actually signed. I'm not exactly sure. I feel like I, I read like two different things um, on Instagram and then actually on her website. So anyway, I picked Sweet 302 and if I could find the notes, that would be awesome. Oh, 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 the notes are here. Okay, an alluring rendezvous, an entrancing escapade, the intoxicating perfume of glamour. Victoria Beckham conjures the sumptuous spirit of whirlwind weekends in Paris in the memory of Sweet 302, an erotic melange of black cherry and red peppercorn, dimmed hotel rooms clouded in rose centifolia, midnight violet, and narcotic musk, plush velvet saturated with papyrus, black leather, and masculine tobacco leaf. Now, I love tobacco, tobacco leaf, um, leather, uh, peppercorn, all of those, but I think what really caught my eye was the black cherry and just this whole mixture of notes. So here is the bottle. I don't see any sort of signage or anything. So I think that only went to like the first 50, I think 50 bottles of each, something like that. But I am very excited to try this out. And I love, love, love the shape of this bottle. The fact that it looks like an old timey, like flask, I think is so cool. Ooh. Oh God. I love it already. Ooh, I love that. That is very unique. Ooh, there's like a bite in there, like a bitterness. What is that? Ooh, and the cherry is like a little tart, a little sweet. Oh, I love it. I'm so glad I got this one. It's deep. It is very, very sexy. Ooh. Okay, well, I'm gonna wear this around. We'll see if it kind of changes as the day goes on, but I'm super excited for that. Wow, and I just had to share that with you guys. So I am wearing my cause top. I don't know if this is still available. My Hermes chain. This is that um, like hinge chain. And I just have like my filming pants on, which is basically my pajama pants because uh, I'm always spilling stuff on me or I need to like just wipe my hands quickly. So I wear these pants. So I need to change into <laughs> something more presentable and figure out what shoes I'm gonna wear. So I decided to change my top because it was, and it just wasn't cooperating. It's like very silky, <laughs> very loose. So I decided to put on the Prada shirt that I got in Milan. Love this shirt so much. And I thought I would pair this very sporty top with a very ladylike bottom, which I think is very Prada. So I just put on this chiffon skirt that I have from H&M. And then those Prada like kitten heel pumps that I got with the flower motif at the top. I hauled this for you guys. 
think the last time I did some sort of like luxury fashion haul. Um, but yeah, I like this outfit. I think it looks comfy, which it is. Elastic waisted skirt and oversized top. Yeah, I think I'm ready to hit Prada. Taking you in this moment, come get close like your own name. Read your aura, you want more of all this love, you'll be your name. Release all of your burdens, it's been me, you'll be searching. Take a load off and your clothes off, just relax, you deserve it. actually packing to go to Dallas for Vid Summit, which is like a YouTuber content creator conference. But I wanted to show you guys what I ended up purchasing at Prada. And actually, I went a little crazy. So I just recently purchased a pair of Prada shoes at Nordstrom and those were delivered too. So I figured I'd show you that along with what I got at Prada yesterday. So actually let's start with what I got at Nordstrom. So this box arrived on my doorstep yesterday as I was on my way to Prada and I was like, wow, this is, this is a sign. This is a sign that I've gone Prada crazy. Here is the beautiful blue Prada box. Um, as you guys know, I wore those black kitten heel um, pointy toe pumps yesterday with like the flowers on them. And I just love them so much. And that was my first time wearing them out. And I can't say that they were like comfortable, like a pair of slippers, but because of the really hard, like brushed leather, I thought they were gonna be a lot less comfortable than they were, they were fine. It just felt like it was just really like holding my feet in. So just wanted to report back on that because I know many of you were like, wow, those look kind of stiff. And, and they are, they are for sure, but they're not, I mean, as long as you get the right size and they're like, you know, a shoe shape that fits you. I did not think that they were that uncomfortable. So anyway, I was glad that was the case because this is the pair that I got at Nordstrom. So this has an even lower heel. So look at this pretty, origami shape there. Just love that. And I know many of you, when I bought the other pair, my black pair, um, I had tried on a pair of like blush. Were these slingbacks? No, I think they were just pumps. Um, but they had just like an origami, like kind of fold in the front. There was no floral pieces, uh, but it was that really beautiful blush tone. And so many of you were like, oh my God, they look so great, especially against your skin tone or whatever. I don't know, I just, I, don't, I preferred the white. I just like a little bit of contrast because it just seemed like it was the concealer lip version of shoes for me. And I'm like, I'm not sure if that's exactly what I'm going for. So anyway, they do have a whole bunch of different versions of these pumps and you can find, actually I was surprised, I don't know why, but you could find a whole bunch of uh, different ones at Nordstrom. They have like a really wide selection. So 
let me actually put these on for you. So I got size 38, which is the size that I got in the black ones. And again, I'm normally like a 38 and a half when it comes to Prada. So I don't know why these were a little bit different, but um, I have more to say on that actually. So just stay tuned on Prada shoe sizing. So here they are, but I'm bummed because look, they're too big. Isn't that weird? The only difference between these shoes and my black ones is the heel. I mean, I thought, but obviously there is quite a bit of a difference. Oh man, well, I'm gonna have to exchange these. But aren't they so pretty? Here they are on the foot. Oh, I just think they're so sharp. I just love a good white shoe. Oh, I'm bummed. Now, I'm afraid that they're gonna be too um, small in the front if I continue to size down, but, oh, that's so weird. Oh, well, oh, good thing I tried them on before I left so I can ship them out, get them returned. And this is what I picked up uh, yesterday at Prada. So I got two more pairs of shoes, like a maniac, but one I specifically went in there to purchase. I was like, I, I think I need these shoes. <laughs> oh, and just for reference, these are the black floral shoes that I purchased if you missed that video. So these have a little bit of a higher like kitten heel than those white ones, but I have these in a size 38 and they fit fine. So, poo. Okay, so these were the shoes that I went specifically in stores purchase. Now I know you may think, Michelle, you bought slippers? These are actually like loafers. You can wear these out. These are the exact same style as my Napa puffy loafers, slide in loafers from Prada. And I love these so much. I wear these all the time. And when I saw these <laughs> online at Prada, I was like, oh yeah, no brainer. So, uh, I love these and I was thinking about wearing these to Dallas, but I think they may be too warm But these are the ones that I made the special trip in store to purchase and these do also come in black I believe but they are there's like limited quantity because Prada had some Event at Casa Cipriani in New York and it was about like shearlings and leathers and stuff and um, after that event they like kind of just dispersed the inventory amongst I think three or four boutiques. So like New York, Beverly Hills, Miami, and maybe Aspen. And so when I asked my sales associate at my store here, she actually had to get these transferred in. And thank goodness I knew my size because of these. So I am a 38 and a half, um, and these in a 38 and a half do fit me. So um, very excited about that. And when I showed such excitement <laughs> over these shearlings. My sales associate wanted to show me another pair that she had, but she's like, I don't have them in your size, but let's just take a look at them. And if you like them, we can order them in your size. So interestingly enough, and this is what I was alluding to earlier, Prada sizing is really, really crazy. So these shoes are, let me just double check. I think they're a six and a half. Now I'm generally an eight and a half in Prada. Yeah, 36 and a half. So she took out these shoes to show me. <laughs> so they're a shearling and they're more of a um, slide with a little sensible heel, which is so great. And I was like, yeah, if you could transfer them in, in like a 38 and a half, 38. And I was like, oh, I'm just gonna slide my foot in and they fit, can you believe it? So let me model these for you. I'll also model the other shearling uh, mules for you. So here are the 36 and a half. Isn't that crazy? They fit. My toes are on, my heel is on. <laughs> They're comfortable. They're not like too narrow or anything. I love these. Look how cute they are. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I love that the Prada triangle is kind of like buried by the shearling. I just think they're so cute and they're so comfortable. This heel height is perfect. And here are the shearling slide-ons. So 38 and a half, they fit great. God, I love these so much. <laughs> They're so comfortable. So, so comfortable. And then just to show you what's going on on the inside here. So there is leather on the inside except on the sole. So 
leather at the top and the sides, and then the sole is shearling. So that is what I got at Prada yesterday. Sorry, I'm like sweating. <laughs> I don't know why. I always feel fine, and then I turn on the camera to start filming, and I just start pouring sweat. I don't know what's happening. Um, oh, one last thing before I leave you. I tried on the Sweet 302 by Victoria Beckham yesterday for you guys. I love the scent. I do. It didn't change that much. However, by the time I got home, which was only about um, maybe four hours later, it was pretty much gone. I don't know why I just stiffed my, my wrist because I've already showered, but it was already gone. It, it had already faded. So I don't know that it's very long lasting. Uh, I'm gonna keep wearing it, but I did just wanna report back on that. So I would, I don't know, I would say hold off. I'm gonna keep testing this. And you know, if you really like a long lasting perfume, some people don't. Some people are like, I'm glad when it fades, it's, it's totally fine. I like long lasting. I like being able to wake up the next day and still smell it a little bit. Yeah, I don't know, oh, it smells so good though. Anyway, I'll report back and that is it for this vlog. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you in the next one.